Hey garden people, in today's video, we're going to show you how to select and plant raspberry, blackberry, and blueberry bushes in your garden. You ready? First things first, choosing our berries. Let me take you to one of the coolest places in the Bay Area, Annie's Annuals. Each January, they have bare root trees and berry bushes galore to choose from. When selecting berries, there are many varieties to choose from, and you might want one of each like me. So here's what I think about before making a selection. What color and flavor fruit do you want? The popular variety or something special and one of a kind? There are summer bearing and ever bearing varieties. So do you want berries all at once in the summer or small amounts spread out over a couple seasons? Most importantly, consider the climate needs of the variety. Most local nurseries will only carry varieties that do well in your climate. Think about your growing space and what variety will thrive best in your microclimate. We're also going to pick the healthiest looking plants. These berry bushes are dormant right now, but if you look carefully, you can see the flower buds sticking out on the branches. I like to choose plants with lots of buds, which means lots of potential fruit. Now on to planting. Let's start with the raspberries and blackberries. For these berry bushes, we'll first space them out. We have established bushes already, so we'll fit these new ones in between. A general rule of thumb is to plant both raspberries and blackberries two to five feet apart. We'll plant ours just about two feet apart and staggered in the row. Next, we'll move the mulch aside and dig a hole just deep enough for the entire plant to fit inside. We want to maintain the same soil level of the transplant, so keep digging if the plant doesn't quite fit. We'll move our soil into a bucket and take it over to a wheelbarrow. This is where we'll mix one part compost with two to three parts native soil. By adding a bit of compost, we're giving our berry bushes a boost of nutrients to help them get well-established and well-fed in the ground. Then we'll gently roll our plant out of its sleeve. We'll break up the root structure just a bit so they have the ability to move about their new home. You don't have to be super gentle, just make sure you aren't ripping the roots off the plant. Then we'll place our berry bush into our newly dug hole and backfill with our compost soil mixture. When the hole looks full, press down a bit to get the air pockets out and fill with more soil until you've reached the soil level of the transplant. We'll continue the same process with each of our raspberries and blackberries. Once they're all snug in their new homes, we'll push the mulch back around the plant, making sure to keep some space between the plant and the mulch. Mulching just helps the plant retain water. We'll give these plants a thorough watering so they can easily establish into their new setting. The process with blueberries is nearly the same. Dig a big enough hole that's spaced out about two to five feet from other plants. Make a one part compost to two to three part native soil mixture. Roll out the plant from its sleeve, tease the roots and plop it into the hole, backfilling with the compost soil mixture. Press it down and add enough soil to hit the plant's soil line. Now blueberries differ from other berries in that they like a highly acidic soil. So to get these blueberries a soil they will truly thrive in, we're going to amend with a high acid fertilizer. We like EB Stone's Azalea, Camellia, and Gardenia fertilizer. These flowers also love high acid, so this will be a great fertilizer for blueberries as well. We'll first water these plants thoroughly, then just shake about a quarter cup of fertilizer around the base of the plant. We'll scratch this in with our hands so it gets into the soil a bit, then we'll give it another nice watering. For the blackberries and raspberries, we're also going to add in trellis support. You can always add this in a little later, but eventually raspberries and blackberries are going to need that extra support so the canes can branch out. We just hammered in two by two wooden posts deep into the soil on each side of the berry row. And with little eye hooks screwed in, we ran two rows of galvanized metal wire across the length of the bushes. Over time, the berry canes will stretch along the wire and be filled with delicious fruit. And that's it. Thanks for following along and happy berry planting.